Hey everybody, Matt with Valera here. In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of the MySQL database server, uh, some general do's and don'ts, and an overview of how to use it. Uh, basically, with the DAISY package server, you have the ability to install a MySQL server. This will allow you to run your own hive, uh, your own database essentially, and gives you full access to it. The difference between our MySQL servers and what you may get with other hosts is most other hosts give you a slice of a bigger server. So you may not have full root privileges, and it's not just yours, it's a shared MySQL server. With ours, you get your own MySQL server with your own set of files on it, it's not shared with anybody else. You have full root control of it, you can do absolutely anything you want with it. So to install it, the first thing you want to do from the home page of the control panel is click Mod Manager. And then right at the top you'll see MySQL database server. Go ahead and click install. And right here it says database config.sys. Click that to expand. And you can input whatever password you want. Uh, in this case, I just have password. And you'll see there's two different users here your root user, which is what you will use to connect to the database remotely with a tool like Heidi SQL or Navicat. This allows you to connect and manage the database. And down here is the DAISY user. This is what your actual DAISY server will use to connect to the database to update things like vehicles and player information. So put in whatever passwords you want and click install. Once the install finishes, you get a pop-up here. Make sure you give that a read. It explains what information to use when installing maps and some other general details. Uh, definitely want to spend a minute to read that. Once you have the MySQL server installed, you can install any of the maps down here under Private Hive database configurations. And we'll do Chinaris just as an example. So you click install. And this is where you want to, to make sure you put all the correct details in. Again, we have a database details.sys. Expand it. And you need to make sure you put in the correct information here or your server will not work. I can't stress that enough. It's a very common issue. Uh, individuals put in the wrong information which then results in the server not working correctly. F the first field you see here is the IP address. Leave that on 127.0.0.1. That is the local host address. Only the actual physical server can connect with that address. If you want to connect remotely from your PC, you'll use your actual game server IP. Next, you have to put the port in. By default, that'll be blank if it's a new server. And your MySQL port is always your game port plus one. In this case, my game port's 2302, so the database port will be 2303. By default, the database username is DayZ, or the database name is DayZ, the username is DayZ, and the password is DayZ. If you change the password when installing MySQL, put the new password here, but leave these two fields default unless you're an advanced user and you've already ahead of time created the different database and the different user. If you have not, just leave the default values and it'll be just fine. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click install. That'll install the map with those information, with that information. As long as you put the correct information in, it'll work fine. And there's a few other features that go along with the MySQL database server. You want to go to the home page of the panel. There's a few buttons here specifically for it. The first is the change MySQL or change database password. You can use this to update the password for your DAISY user and the root user. These top two fields are the password for each one of those users. You still can use the 127001 IP. Make sure the port's correct. Again, make sure the database name's correct and make sure the username is correct. And you can also set your server time because what will happen is when you update your database password, that need, the new password needs to be used in the hive.ext.ini for the server to connect to the database. So at the same time, it'll rewrite that whole INI file and put the new time in that you select here. Once all your information's in, hit execute, it'll change your password to whatever you wanted. Another database specific script here is the database backup. And all this does, you just click execute and that'll go ahead and make an entire copy of your MySQL folder. And once the script runs, it'll go ahead and it's, it, It'll move a copy of the folder to your backup folder, and it names the backup the current date and time. You can store up to 50 backups. Once you hit 50, the system will go back. When it goes to create a new one, it'll overwrite the oldest one. You can see that's done executing. 
Another cool feature with the backup script, it can be scheduled just like a restart. You can click Scheduled Tasks, click New, then you want to click the MySQL Backup, click New again, and you can schedule it. Say if you want to do it daily at a certain time, you can repeat the task. Say if you want to do it every one hour, you'll set one hour for 24, hour, for 24 hours. So for every one hour over a 24 hour period, it'll create a backup. Give it a name and click save. And that'll do it all for you. Now another MySQL specific button here is the MySQL restore. Let's say a hacker comes in and destroys all your vehicles in your camps and you've had the backups running every hour, you can roll back to a previous backup. So here, you wanna make sure you have the correct IP, correct port, correct database name. You can put whatever you want for a password. If you wanna use the same one, that's fine. This script will actually reset the password to whatever you put in these fields. And you can also do the same thing here, set the time. And then in the restore type, you do selected backup, and it'll give you a drop-down list of any backups that you have. Just select the one you want to restore. And there's another option here called revert last restore. So let's say we restore this backup, and there's an issue with it, or it didn't go back far enough, and you want to go back to the state the server was before you restored the backup. By doing the revert last restore, that'll undo the last MySQL restore and put you back where you were before doing that just kind of a safeguard in case anything goes wrong. Once you have everything there, click Execute, it'll restore your database. And as far as the MySQL server goes, that's really all there is to it. Um, the last thing I'll show you is just how to connect to it. I use a program called HeidiSQL. Some people use NaviCat. HeidiSQL is free and it's a great program. It's one I definitely recommend. All right, and for you to be able to connect to the database, your server has to be running. So we'll click Start. Both the, the actual armor process, the MySQL process, and anything else like BattleEye extended controls, all those exe files are linked to this one start function. So when you click start, everything starts. If you try to connect to the MySQL server without the server running, it'll just say it can't connect to it. So we'll open up HeidiSQL, and here at the top it asks for your IP. That's going to be your game server IP. Go ahead and put that in there. And then you put in the user, you want to use root, and then the password. I think, I think that's the password, we'll find out. And then the port, so plus one your game port. So this will be 2303. And then you click open. Give it a moment to connect. You can click save if you want and save that as a profile to use later. We'll just click no. And there you go, you're in the database. Actually, our server comes with three different databases. You get the standard DayZ one, which is used by almost all of the maps. And then there is a separate database for DayZ 2017 and I-44. So you can go in, as you can see, you have access to all of your tables, uh, your survival table, survivor table to see all the players that have played on your server, your vehicle tables, everything that you need is there. And that's really all there is to it. it it's fairly straightforward if you've never used a database or MySQL server before, it can have a bit of a learning curve, but it's not too hard. If you have any questions about using it, feel free to leave them in the comments uh, or submit a ticket on valer.com. Again, my name is Matthew. Thank you for watching.